Hello, and welcome to the Kingdom of Kakapo. In this video, you're going to see how the Matter7 platform and the Matter Wallet can power a real-life use case for verifiable credentials. While we'll show you everything during this video, you can also follow along by going to kakapo.matter.global and downloading the Matter Wallet app on your mobile device. All right, let's journey to the Kingdom of Kakapo. So we've just arrived in our new home in the Kingdom of Kakapo, and as good citizens of our country, we first need to get set up with the government and acquire a Kakapo passport. Then, when we've moved into our new house, we'll go ahead and organize for power, and finally, open a bank account. Now, this process is a little different than what you're probably used to, because in the Kingdom of Kakapo, we're going to be using verifiable credentials. Now, the first thing that we've got is I've received this letter from the Kakapo government saying that my passport's been approved and my actual passport's going to be coming in the mail. But I can also grab my digital passport on my mobile app. So the way that this would work is, is if you see a QR code over here, and I can go in and scan that QR code. So you're seeing this credential offer for a passport credential. Let's press proceed. It is going to ask me to confirm my passport details. So in this case, everything matches my true identity. That looks all good. You can press continue. Now in this case, Usually you'd have things like entering passwords or entering six digit pins to make sure that the person that's receiving the credential is the person that you want to be receiving the credential. In this case, for this issuance, because it is for something like a passport, I guess the government wants to make sure that it is truly indeed me. So they're employing this face ID scan using iProof. So if I press start face scan, what this is going to do is go in and set up a face scan session and scan my face. So what it did was it flashed some lights, captured it, and made sure that it was truly me. Everything looks good, so now I can review my information, press approve, and that will continue with the credential issuance process. And soon enough, you'll see, there we go, I've got my passport credential. So I can press view, and you'll see all the details. One of the important things of this is up here, you're seeing this banner for privacy enhancing. And this means that this credential is able to selectively disclose some properties of it. So for example, if I was going to a alcohol store and somebody just wanted to verify my birth date and my image, that verifier could ask only for that and this credential would be able to handle disclosing that information. I'll show you how I can claim a proof of residence into my wallet. Now, typically a proof of residence would generally come in the form of a letter issued to you by your electric provider, and that's how you'd prove your residential addresses to places that would need it. In this case, Kakapo Power is going to issue me a proof of residence verifiable credential. Let's see how that would work. So on my computer over here, I've gone into the Kakapo Power Company website. I'll log in. And I can, on my dashboard, I have the option to claim my Kakapo Power account credential. If I press that, it will show me a QR code that I can scan. And this is going to get me my credential offer for my Power Account credential. Because I've already logged in into the website, it doesn't need to do any sort of authentication on the wallet itself because it knows from the fact that I've already logged in on the browser. It doesn't need that high of a trust as a passport did, right? So in this case, it validated me and gave me my Power Account credential. And if we look into that, you'll see sort of all of my details and also my residential um, details as well. So to get to the Kakapo Bank website, I'll go back to Kakapo and go to kakapobank.com. So to open up my bank account, I need to provide a passport. So a personal identity credential could be a passport, could be a driver's license and residential proof of address, in this case, a utility account credential, both of which we've already gotten from our previous steps. Awesome. Now to open my account, I can just press show QR code 
And this QR code is different from the one that we saw in both the passport claim and then the second one where we claimed the power account credential. So let me show you what I mean. When I scan this QR code, it, this is initiating a verification request. What you're seeing on my mobile phone over here is Kakapo Bank has asked me to present two credentials, my identity credential and my proof of residence. The wallet has gone in and figured out which credentials satisfy this request and it's populated both of the fields over here. So my identity credential uh, has the passport in it and the proof of residence has the power account in it. Now there's also selective disclosure. So if I press view, you'll see that Kakapo Bank has only asked for my name my date of birth and my gender. It doesn't need to know about my birth country, my resident status and stuff like that because it probably doesn't need to. Okay, so let's go back and press send. And this is going to combine both of those credentials into a cryptographic verifiable presentation, send it to the bank. In this case, you've seen the bank receive that information and automatically already created me a bank account. Um, and on my mobile app, I've gotten a credential offer so if I press view offer, hey, look at that, a bank account credential. I can store that and if we press view, it's got nothing much in it right now except for my account ID, but this credential can then evolve to contain more details as I become a customer of the Bank of Kakapo. So now I've got three credentials on my phone and with my bank account credential, what there's another cool thing that you can do. I can sign into my bank account directly um, using my phone. So. I can just press sign in using MetaWallet, press the login button, scan the QR code, share my bank account credential with the bank, and there we go. I've already logged in into the bank and I can manage my accounts from here. All right, there you have it. We've successfully claimed three credentials and saved them to our wallet, ready for use whenever we need them. We've seen today how the Matter7 platform can be used across the verifiable credential ecosystem, across a variety of contexts. The opportunities here are endless. As we mentioned earlier, if you want to try this out for yourself, go ahead and download the Matter Wallet app from the App Store or the Google Play Store and head on over to kakapo.matter.global to get started. If you want to explore some of our other use cases for these technologies, check out our other videos on the YouTube channel. For developers, we've got the amazing Matter Learn where you can see how-to guides and sort of tutorials on how you can get set up with our APIs and get started with issuing your first credentials today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And until then, I look forward to seeing you in the kingdom of Kakapo.